Welcome back to the sixth and final week of the Scott County Public Library's virtual summer reading program. This is for the school age group, and this week we are continuing our Imagine Your Story theme with a few more fairy tales, including tea parties and enchanted roses. To make our tea party, we're going to craft our own little paper teacups and teapots. The links for these can be found in the comments below, and we'll also put them up on our blog. All right, we'll get started with the teacups first. Use whatever colored cardstock you have, or you can use white cardstock as well if you want to design and color your teacup. But just get all the different pieces cut out, and then you are ready to put them together. After I had everything cut, I decided that I wanted to mix and match just to make my cup look a little prettier. This project would probably work best with a hot glue gun. I used tape for most of mine and glue stick, but I also managed to do it with school glue on one of my earlier experiments with making the teacup. But you can just follow along with the video and see all the different places that I use the tape. Um, I do believe the only time I used glue for this set of teacups was when I attached the handle. All right, there you go. I've got four lovely teacups. I'm ready to have my own tea party as soon as I get my teapot made. To make the teapot, I just use cardstock again. You just need to cut out around the solid black line that goes around the outside of the teapot. The dotted lines are for where you'll fold the teapot. If you follow along with the video, it will show you how to fold the pieces and then attach them. You could use glue. I decided to use tape once again on this project. Um, the only last step I had was I put a hole punch in the top of the teapot at the very end and tied it with a ribbon, but you'll see all that here in the video.
And there you have it, your own teapot. To go along with your beautiful teacups, you can now have your own Mad Hatter style tea party. And if you're a bigger fan of Beauty and the Beast than Alice in Wonderland, you can decorate your teacup and teapot to look like Chip and Mrs. Potts. I just used white cardstock and colored in their faces myself, and we will include the link to the coloring page in case you need some help making your faces on your teapot and cup. Our second craft is also from Beauty and the Beast. We are going to make the Beast's Enchanted Rose. To make this craft, I used tissue paper, pipe cleaners, a couple of clear plastic cups, glue, and glitter. To make your rose, you can either cut a series of circles out of your tissue paper or squares. Either will work to make the rose. Next, I use the pipe cleaner to push straight through the center of the tissue paper until I have as many on there as I like. Once you have all the tissue paper that you want attached to the pipe cleaner, just secure the front end of the pipe cleaner to hold on the paper and then scrunch all the paper up. You want to just sort of fold it in on itself until you have what basically will look like a rose. And I did the same with the pink squares as I did with the gold circles. Then I trimmed off some of my pipe cleaner in order to make a leaf. I just wrapped it around the main stem and twisted it until it stayed attached to the other end of the pipe cleaner. Then after that, I sort of made a platform out of the bottom of my pipe cleaner. I made it so that I could tape it down to the inside of the cup. Once the flower is secured in the bottom of the cup, you want to add some extra petals that you cut out of your tissue paper, and you can sprinkle in some glitter as well. I just used basic school glue to attach my cup halves. Just sprinkled it around the edge and then set it on top until it held in place. A glue gun would probably work better though. And there you have it, your own enchanted rose, just like the beast. I hope you guys um, have all finished up your summer reading program. If not, there are a few Alice in Wonderland and Beauty and the Beast books that you can find at the Scott County Public Library. Um, we also have several of the movies in case you guys are all finished reading and you just want to celebrate that you completed the program. And remember, if you did any of this week's crafts, send us a picture at my email address listed here on the screen and we will enter you into one last chance to win a $10 gift card from Walmart. You'll need to enter before the 29th. 